It might be January 2nd, but for us, it is day one working with Coach Frank. Excited to see where we can go with Coach Frank. He is putting us through the rigors this week. It is testing week. We're starting out on Monday morning in the pool, as you can see, and we're gonna do a couple of rounds of varying distance of time trials. Hi there, I'm Frank. I'm a triathlon coach with Bacillary3.com and a professional bike fitter here at Benz Bikes in beautiful Tucson, Arizona. I first became aware of Team Saunders while attending the Ironman 70.3 Lubbock in 2021. While setting up my T2 the day before the race, Team Saunders were just one wreck away from me. I immediately noticed the orange race suits and of course the cameraman following them both. And I thought, who are these pros? Throughout race day I noticed the orange race suits again. And especially during the run I heard people calling, let's go Team Saunders! And I thought, I need to look that up, I need to know what that is all about. I looked at their website, watched a few YouTube videos, and I thought it's really great what they are doing for the sport of triathlon. We were doing a practice swim at Worlds 70.3 2021 in St. George, Utah. And uh, coming out from that, we saw DJ was talking with this guy and it turned out to be Frank the German. A few months later, while at the Ironman World Championship 70.3 in St. George, I did a practice swim and while exiting the water, I ran into them again. They were doing a practice swim as well and again were followed by their cameraman. So I went up, we had a brief conversation and DJ took an awesome photo of the three of us. Throughout the following months, we exchanged some brief emails and ran into each other again at the Ironman 70.3 Texas in Galveston. You keep her in line out there. Yes, ma'am, I will do. <laughs> you push her when she when she when she's thinking it's hard, you just tell her the German oh, yeah. would never give up. Oh, yeah. Let me kick your ass. Do it. <laughs> After Galveston, our friendship grew, and for me being a coach, I started to look into their training on Strava. Coaching to me is very personal and has to be centered around an athlete's life, with realistic and achievable goals in mind. Starting the day off with uh, time trials in the water. We're gonna do a 400 time trial and then a 200 time trial just to set our base and set our swim sets based on those. One, one thirty-seven pace. Boom. That's what ninety-four days of swimming in a row will help get you. <laughs> Have to admit, I, I didn't think I was gonna go that fast. I had a had a time in mind. It wasn't that fast. So believe in yourself, kids. Okay, I'm a little nervous now, but all for good. Last night, Caitlin and I were in bed just talking through this time trial, what our goals were. I told her I'd like, uh, I'd like to do 550, 551 high. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, I don't even know, do the math in my head, the pace is 127. Yeah, so. Super solid, happy, happy, happy. It's a good place to start. <laughs> we decided to attend Ironman 70.3 Indian Wells together and in the days leading to the event, Team Saunders stayed a few days at our place in Tucson. 
I informed them about my observations of their training throughout the last few months and that their goals and training did not align. I told them that I see so much more potential in Team Saunders if they would just start to train right. Run tests to set our paces and heart rates and oddly enough, never done a true run test. This will give me the baseline for what I'm gonna operate off of in the coming weeks and months and hopefully improve on. 30 minutes all out as much as I can go. We'll see where I am at the end and it's a start and it's progress. So no matter what I do today, it's going to be a good result. It's going to be something to work with and it's going to be something that I'm going to be able to move onward and upward with. like to announce my intentions to qualify for the 2024 Paris Olympics. <laughs> I am realistic, by the way. Purely went by feel as per coach's orders. Uh, I knew it would hurt, and it did. Probably just under the three mile mark was when the puking sensation started to gently tap. It hurt, it did. Overall, I think I verified kind of what I've been experiencing since June is I have the cardiovascular fitness. I feel like even though I was pushing and definitely redlining, there was probably more there, but my legs, um, my legs just fatigue a lot sooner than I would hope. And I felt those get pretty heavy, a little past the halfway mark. But I told myself last night, considering where I am, Considering the way last year ended and everything that happened, um, obviously coming off of preseason, that I'd be happy if I could do 10 minute miles. If I could get three miles in, that'd be a win. And I think I got just over three and a quarter. So um, definitely not where I ever was in my peak, but I know where I can go. And I'm pretty sure that once we start this training, this methodology, integrating rest days and doing things smart, properly, accentuating the recovery. I bet that my gains will come pretty quickly and I'll be back close to where I wanna be. And ultimately, the goal is to set it up where I'm peaking in time for the A race. So uh, I look forward to watching Caitlin suffer <laughs> and I know she's gonna crush it. Uh, I can't even fathom what she's going to do out here, but I know it's going to be good stuff because her bar is pretty damn high. So pleased with myself, really happy. So two tests down this week, swim was amazing, run exceeded expectations and keep going upward. I think I might be a little bit more nervous for the run test and then the swim test and I'm not even a good swimmer. Getting better swimmer. Getting better. I guess it's just part of the game, being a little bit nervous. You're nervous on race day, you're nervous before a big workout, kind of how it goes. Embrace the nerves, take them and run with them. just as I hit 30 minutes. You do the math, whatever that pace is. I don't know. We'll get back to you on that one, but felt pretty good. I know I was holding about 7.30, 7.35 for the majority. Uh, picked it up the last couple minutes. I know I was under seven for a little while. Excited. Gets the blood pumping for sure. Blood pumping for the season to come, the races to come, the progress to come. Excited to see what's in store for Team Saunders Try. About to 
start about 30 minutes warm up on the bike before we head into a FTP ramp test. Arms lift. A little bit of nerves there, a little excitement. Excited to see where my fitness currently is. Wherever it is, it's gonna get higher. Count on that. Got a good group represented here on Zwift and uh, across the country. It's been really cool all suffering together and to be able to do a ramp test on Zwift with everyone at the same time, even though we're in different locations, <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty fun to see how that transpires. Everyone, everyone, come on. This is just the start. This is just the beginning of where you're at. Hell yeah. Woo! While I'm definitely not where I wanna be on the bike right now, I know there's a lot of upside. I know there's so much potential and I do trust that we're gonna get there and I'm ready to do the work. I'm proud and excited to say that Team Saunders hired me as their coach for the upcoming season 2023. I'm convinced that Team Saunders can reach quite a few PRs in the upcoming season. And if we do it right, maybe an age group podium as well. That confidence gives me confidence and excitement for this season and all the progress that I know I can still make. I think he wants us to succeed as much as we do, if not more so. And there's a lot of passion when he speaks about Team Saunders and our performance and our training and just where we can take this. And I think we've got a good person in our corner and I can't wait to see where we go. He is German, so he may from time to time spit out a phrase in German, which kind of makes you give you an oh shit moment. But I know it's all in good fun and it's only to make us stronger. As we say in Germany, genug geschwatzt, auf geht's. <laughs>